A U.S. soccer star and former Portland Thorn is blasting the team after a scathing report on the team's owner and a former controversial coach. Fox 12's Mia Villanueva joins us now in studio with more details. And Mia, this all stems from sexual misconduct allegations uh, that were made, what, public last year? Joe, that's right. A new article from ESPN accuses Thorne's owner, Merritt Paulson, of urging former coach Paul Riley to withdraw from applying to be the head coach of the U.S. women's national team. Now, some believe Merritt did this to keep the details of Riley's firing private. Riley was fired back in 2015 after violating the terms of his contract. That came after complaints from a former Thorns player accusing Riley of sexual harassment and coercion. Another teammate also came forward last year sharing similar experiences with the then head coach. After his firing, Riley went on to coach the North Carolina Courage. ESPN reports that Paulson reached out to the Courage's owner, urging Riley to withdraw his application to coach the women's national team, warning that the details of his firing would become public. Now take a look. The Thorns have responded to the article saying the information was, quote, based on a privileged and confidential video call regarding the dismissal of Paul Riley in 2015. They go on to call the, the article biased and misleading and say that, quote, Paulson initiated none of these conversations, but agreed with Riley's decision to step aside from U.S. women's national team consideration. Now, we're also hearing reaction from players. U.S. women's national team star and former Portland Thorn Alex Morgan responded to the article and the, res uh, and the Thorn's response. She tweeted this. It's next to me on the screen here. We, the players of the NWSL, especially the players in Portland, deserve so much better than a boys club protecting their own. She went on to say the response from the team was, quote, just pathetic. Now, former Thorns player Mana Shim also tweeted this out next to me here. The problem was not just that they knew and said nothing. They did everything they could to keep the truth from coming out. We need to protect players and hold people accountable when they don't. Live in studio, I'm Mia Villanueva. Good day, Oregon.